Now, look, let me be clear about how I feel about this. We're in this hugely historic moment that we are describing as the Black Lives moment, Black Lives Matter. And for me, you cannot say Black Lives Matter. You cannot have organisations say that we go along with the sentiment of that term, that, that idea, that belief, and then think it's okay for journalists to just flippantly use the N-word. And the reason is, it's actually probably the most offensive word in English. Um, it's offensiveness begun in the 17th century when the word Negro changed to the N-word as a deliberate way to brutalise, to be violent to black people. People were lynched. They were castrated. They were stripped of all dignity. My ancestors moved from one plantation to the next. Your, you could be, your family could be separated. And that was because you were the N-word. And here we are in 2020. And it's OK for a journalist to use that term uh, on, a, uh, on a, uh, a broadcast that I'm paying for, by the way, with my licence fee. Unacceptable. I'm pleased that the Director General has finally issued an apology, but I'm staggered, frankly, staggered, that it's taken days to get the apology out of him. Thank you, Sideman. Thank you. Thank you for standing up and saying enough's enough. Turning down a salary, I suspect, at the BBC to make a statement and say enough is enough. Thank you for doing that. And thank you to the 18,000 people that called in and complained. They pay their licence fee and they shouldn't have to listen to this horrible racist slur on national television. Totally unacceptable. And I know that there are artists out there, black artists, who use this term in their hip hop music or use this term in their grime music and think it's a term of endearment. I understand the history of reclaiming the term, owning the term of abuse that was used um, uh, in relation to you and your people. But I say the time has come to do away with it. If black lives matter, don't own it. Now reject it, reject it. And, and uh, you know, in a sense, this comes up in lots of different contexts. I'm a Spurs supporter. I've listened to the Y word used uh, in the stadium and had to explain to my young children what that term is and why we don't use it. Because if there is one Jewish person feeling uh, intimidated, hurt, by that phrase, who's not a Spurs supporter, they've come as a Chelsea supporter or an Arsenal supporter, whatever, and they've come into the stands. I don't want to be responsible for them feeling like that. We have to turn away from it as well. We don't use the P word. We would never use the C word. Why is it acceptable? Why is it acceptable to use the N word on a national radio station in 2020? That's the question. Is it ever acceptable? And please don't call in and tell me that I'm being politically correct. There is nothing politically correct about a term that was used to dehumanise, brutalise, and minimise grossly black people for centuries. It should have been kicked into the garbage bin years ago. And I'm staggered that I have to use this afternoon to talk about it. But because I'm leading Britain's conversation, that is precisely what we are going to do.